Hi friends. So I wanted to answer the most common question I've received over the last week since I posted on social media that many of us have a really hard time with exercise and movement and with diet because of two cultural messages. The first message is only bodies of a certain size and shape are worthy of love and respect. And the second part of that message is, but you can change your body to be that size and shape, that acceptable size and shape, through diet and exercise. And I said that this sets us up for a very toxic relationship with movement and exercise, with food, and especially with our own bodies. And the question that has come up to me uh, many, 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 many times over the last week from so many of you who really got that, oh my gosh, yes, that is exactly what's going on with me. Jen, I've tried a million things. I never stick to it. I'm trapped in such a cycle of shame and guilt and self-loathing and I don't like my body. I can see that I need to work on this. How do I change my body image? So let me tell you how you don't do it. And this is how most women think they change their body image. Most women think my body image will change when I change my body. That's just not how it works. Your body image isn't going to change when you lose 10 pounds or when you tone your arms or flatten your belly. That's not your body image is not based on appearance alone. Your body image is really what I think of as the relationship you have with your body. Do you trust it? Do you see it as valuable and worthy? And that is built on two primary things. Number one, it's built on the thoughts and beliefs you carry inside your mindset. I sometimes call that mindset. And those are often subconscious and it takes work to kind of bring up to the surface the stories that you're carrying around in your mind that are impacting how you see your body and how you view it and the relationship you have with it. But the second way our body image changes is through work that we do to begin to listen to our body and to cultivate a relationship with it, to see how our body can serve us in the work that we're here to do, in loving other people, in doing whatever it is you do for your job, all of those kind of things. That's what's critical, that we figure out how to allow our body to support us in our everyday life. And I start that work with women. When I'm working with women, I start that work by doing mindset work, looking at thoughts and beliefs, pulling out those stories, examining them, changing and shifting them in conjunction with mind-body practices, which are techniques that we can use to help our body and our mind form a healthy relationship where our body leads our minds to changes and because of that, we grow in love and respect. This doesn't have anything to do with the number on the scale. This doesn't have anything to do with the number on your pants size. You have to learn how to listen to your body and how to trust your body. So it's looking at your thoughts and beliefs and it's looking at learning how to trust your body. This is critical work. It's important, yes, for your health, it's important, yes, for the example you are giving to other women around you. I hear from moms all the time who hear their daughters speak about their bodies the way that moms speak about their body. And as soon as you hear it from, as soon as you hear it kind of reflected back to you in another human being, the kind of stuff you say to yourself, many women come to me, oh my gosh, I have to work on my body image, Jen. Help me. I don't want my daughter to have the same struggles that I have. But It also matters for everything in your life, for how to show up fully at work, for how to be the best person in relationships. It all starts with your own body image. I know it doesn't feel like a crisis, oh, a body image crisis, but I do the work I do because I wanna live in a world where everyone has a profound, deep respect for their own body because I think that's an amazing world to live in. I know it's not the same kind of crisis that you might have with other things that 
It doesn't feel as urgent or it doesn't feel as important, but whatever you are facing, your body and your mind-body connection can help make whatever that is more faceable. You can, it, it can equip you with skills. I have over the past 12 years faced so much heartache, faced so much overwhelm, faced financial struggles, faced health struggles, faced challenges in relationships, things that felt like they were going to take me under. And the thing that got me through was my relationship with my body, was diligently practicing mind-body practices to help in the moment calm my stress response, to help in the moment calm and process pain, to help fully get oriented to what actions I should take next, to help have peace with the fact that I might only know one right next step, but that having this fundamental self-love and respect that starts with this body image work, it's just so powerful. Please, I know changing your body image might not feel like the most important thing you can do, but once you see the way a healthy relationship with your body can change every other aspect of your life, I hear from women all the time, why did I wait so long to start to work on this? I don't know what you're facing right now, but I know that you have everything you need to face it. I know that it can feel overwhelming. I know that it can feel hard to trust your body when you've really been bombarded with messages that it's not okay and that it's not worthy of love and respect, but it absolutely is. And you don't have to do the work with me, but please find a way to do those things. To number one, start to pull out the thoughts and beliefs that are shaping your own body image. Examine and reshape them. Choose the ones that are the most empowering. And number two, begin to explore some mind-body work, some work that helps connect you to your body in a way that goes so far beyond what it looks like in the mirror or what size you wear in your clothes so that you can begin to see the amazing, powerful, loving, supportive guidance you can find in your own body. Please do this work. I am doing this work with women every day in my Mindset Mastery program. I, you can find information about it at healthymoving.com forward slash mindset. I have a new coaching group that's starting in November. Doors for that are going to be closing on Sunday, November 3rd. So um, go to that link and check out all the information on that. There's also a self-paced option, um, but I'm going to close registration on November 3rd. There's also a $50 discount that I have extended through the 31st. Um, a fall sale that's through the 31st. So register by Wednesday to get the $50 discount and then I'm gonna close registration on the 3rd so that I can dig in and start working with the, the women who are in the program. The coaching group has space for 20 women and it already has 16. So it might that part might close before Sunday if we're, when, when we get the four new amazing women. I don't know if that's you, if you're one of the ones who's going to join that, but if you're feeling like you might be and you have questions, you wanna ask me about how the coaching group works, you wanna ask me about the program in general, feel free to send me a message, DM me. I would absolutely love to work with you. Like I said, whatever you're facing, I so believe that all the guidance and intuition you need to face it and to know what to do next can come to you through your body. And that you having a t very genuine, total respect and love for your body can change everything about your life in the most positive and profound ways. Life is so, so hard and can feel isolating and alone and overwhelming. You have something right there with you right now that can help you through that. Please, please, please do the work to find it.